Hello and welcome to Out of Spec Motoring. You join me on a rainy Friday afternoon where we have the Audi e-tron towing our electric smart car. Now this used to be my electric smart car and now my friend Sam owns it. It needs to go in for some repairs. It has a high voltage system loop problem that we need to get sorted. So what better way to bring it all the way down to Raleigh, North Carolina than with the Audi e-tron. This thing's already a thirsty beast and I can only imagine how much energy we're gonna consume on the way to Raleigh. So let's load up, head down into town and see how much energy we consume. So, couple things to note here. We have no trailer lights. This is sketchy. I do not recommend it. This Audi does not have, it has the trailer hitch probably for accessories and bike racks, but it does not have the pins to plug in. It has the blank plate with the connector behind there, but we don't actually have the trailer connection pins. Doesn't matter, we're only driving daytime. We're actually gonna go halfway back to my house from here in the track. We're gonna go to Rocky Mount, which is only about 45 miles. Now I've logged our efficiency from home to here. It's basically flat elevation, not that windy, although it is gonna be raining now, it was not on the way up. We got 2.2 miles per kilowatt hour on the way up here. Again, doing 85, 90 miles an hour. This thing chugs the juice, but that's fine. Will we see less than two miles per kilowatt hour on the way home? I am sure. Will we see less than one? Oh man, if we use a kilowatt hour a mile, that's gonna be crazy. So we are going to drive this thing down 40 miles tonight, charge it up, and then we'll be down into Raleigh. We'll see how the e-tron tows. And um, yeah, right now I have it lifted in sort of the all road suspension height so that it's leveled out with the trailer. I'll see if I can drop it down into comfort, but it will let you go all road at highway speeds, not full off road air suspension all the way up. Let me show you a little bit about the car. So here is the smart car that we are towing. Sam's inside, it's actually his and it'll be used here at the track as sort of the track car. And this is the LED light strip that's currently burnt out and you can see when it rains it doesn't look that great and that's because there's a little chip right here in the e-tron that's going to get fixed but it did not get fixed before my friend Nick loaned it to me to review for the last couple weeks. Normally we grab these cars out of press fleets and they're perfect however Audi didn't have any e-trons in their fleet for us to borrow so we went to Nick who was kind enough to offer us his car. Anyway we have it hooked up on the factory tow hitch setting here so everything is good. Suspension is up pretty high. We're, again, we're going to see if we can lower that. But the smart car, I can't wait to see this thing run again. It had a dead onboard charger. It has since been replaced. It just needs to be reset. The problem with these smart cars and Mercedes products is you need the factory certified star computer in order to basically clear all the high voltage codes. So we're gonna go to a tech in Raleigh that has the computer. They're gonna wipe the thing and hopefully it will turn on. So we are inside the gorgeous interior of the e-tron. Alyssa, how do you like this car? I think it's beautiful. Yeah, it really is. It is the most luxurious EV we have tested here so far. What we're gonna do is we've, we've done 2.1 miles per kilowatt hour, but I believe it was 2.2 when we arrived. We're going to reset our short-term memory. We're gonna see what we get on the way home to Rocky Mount. So I'm just going to select home here and we'll see how many miles away it is. 45 miles. We have 85 miles predicted on our predictive energy calculation. Although, as you guys know, we're gonna be using so much more juice that that's gonna drop like a brick. We're about 50% state of charge. The only way to see state of charge in the e-tron is to go home, vehicle, charging, charging, and there you go, 47% state of charge. So let's go see if we can make it there. If not, there's a brand new CCS Chatamo station along the way that we can stop at. So mm -hmm. we should be good there. Yep, we'll be good. All right, we're pulling out in the e-tron with a trailer on it. Let's make sure we have our driver assistance, uh, not our driver assistance, our vehicle mode selected. We are in all road and I'm just gonna lower us to the one off of high suspension. So we're at almost full height. <laughs> you can already feel the load back there. Yeah, it's going. Blup, 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 blup. All right, well, yeah, I mean, I gotta say, steering super light and easy seems pretty good. I'm gonna put the regen to full off throttle, which you use the steering wheel paddles for. 
and it just should be a nice simple cruise on the way home and let's get home before it gets dark because we don't have trailer lights which is not illegal in the state of North Carolina uh, mm -hmm. you, as long as you can see the car's tail lights you're okay so it's not the end of the world Ooh. oh just a bump nothing to worry about All right. smart car still behind us off we go then We're gonna be merging onto I-95 South, and uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. We're averaging one mile per kilowatt hour right now, which is really bad. That's uh, literally a thousand watt hour per mile. No conversion needed there, which is nice. And uh, let's see how this thing goes. It's um, towing really nicely. You know, the e-tron's so heavy, this is a 5,500 pound car the turn signals going fast because of the um, the broken tail light so let's accelerate up to speed give it full beans that's wide open we can put it in s for the boost yep it's still fast <laughs> i mean the e-tron's not slow everyone says it's slow it's not it's uh, a fantastic car the blind spot monitors are going crazy though so let's get this thing up to speed deploying full power 72 miles an hour we're just gonna go probably 70 just back it down a little bit and let's see if adaptive cruise works 70 miles per hour set oh yes we are good can we do adapt um, active steering let's see yes it will and the way that i see that is this little green thing so now it's it's trailering for us that feels a little dangerous i'm not going to use it i'll just use adaptive cruise of course and uh, always here to take over but so far we are 0.9 miles per kilowatt hour. This is a, a pretty thirsty trip we're on. All right, let's load up our charge point card here. We're just gonna tap the reader. That's all we need to do. We're gonna grab the CCS connection. The nice thing about this is it will pull out, but the problem is these cables sometimes get inverted. So now we can pull the top of that station out to reach, just like this. Line up, plug in. And we are charging. Now here is one of the nice things about the e-tron. It has a super high pack voltage. Therefore, even on these little 50 kilowatt chargers, unlike some other EVs, we won't name who, we're still getting 48, 49 kilowatt charging speeds, which is livable. It's really not bad. Let's, let me show you these charge point units. They're really nice. They're extremely quiet as well. Uh, you know, we put 3.4 kilowatt hours into this thing. Cost us less than a dollar so far. Reasonably priced. I think it's 26, 27 cents per kilowatt hour. They really make no noise. They're designed to cycle the heat through the top of the unit uh, passively, which is nice. I believe it does have active thermal management if it does get too hot. Nice units, nice cables. Etron looks kind of silly with the suspension up high, but that's how it has to be to keep the load balanced. So we're not uh, jumping down but that's the benefit of air suspension on this car it helps very nicely and yeah this is kind of cool Alyssa is coming back with some snacks what'd you get Cheetos, Cheetos? Yep. <laughs> I guess she got some Cheetos Just pulling off the highway here. We have achieved 1.1 miles per kilowatt hour over the last 43 miles. That's just so much juice. Um, after the charging session, we did just take it a little bit more slowly just because we got in a nice group of cars doing about 65 miles per hour. And um, let's just make sure this guy's truly turning before we pull out. Yes, they are very good. And uh, yeah, I gotta say the e-tron toes so nice. It's so comfortable. You really don't even feel the trailer back there. We had the Land Cruiser Heritage Edition uh, for the Out of Spec Reviews channel, uh, which if you don't follow that, go ahead and follow Out of Spec Reviews. Subscribe on, on YouTube, I should say. Um, we had the Land Cruiser towing this exact trailer and it was fine, but uh, the e-tron toes even better than that. And that's a big burly SUV. So Audi's really got it nailed with this thing, I think. Uh, and it's the efficiency hit is really down to arrow, not the weight. 
So our charging plan, we live right there, but this is the main parking lot and there's electric cars that are on the charger and I don't really want to block the whole driveway, especially while everyone's here on a Friday night. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to park the e-tron down here and then in the middle of the night, once everyone's gone, I'll get up and go throw it on the level two charger. And that's how we're going to accomplish this towing uh, for charging because we need a full charge to get into Raleigh tomorrow. And there we go, we have made it back. Also, if you want some out-of-spec sweatshirts, they're just below the YouTube video. You can pick these things up. They're pretty comfy. Uh, that flap keeps opening up. <laughs> I can't believe how nicely this e-tron towed. You can see that rear light wigging out because of that ding in there. Uh, that will be fixed soon, according to Nick, my friend who owns this car. And again, thank you to Nick for letting us test the e-tron in so many interesting ways. So once everyone clears out of here, we're gonna throw it over on the charger. I just don't wanna have to unhook the trailer. Although I guess I could, it really is not a huge deal. We'll see what it's looking like in a few hours. If there's still cars around, I'll just leave the trailer right here and then go throw the e-tron on the level two charger. Time to go get some work done and maybe some dinner. Good morning. It is now the next day. I think today's haircut day, finally, because this is just a mane. I need to get rid of this hair. Um, I've just been so lazy to go. <laughs> That's the reason I haven't done it. Um, I had to disconnect the trailer last night to charge the e-tron, just the way that our charging stations are laid out here at our house. Uh, up over here, I'll show you. There was no way to park the trailer without blocking the roadway. So I disconnected, left the trailer in a big parking lot just right over here. We're going to unplug the Audi, hopefully it charged to 100%. I don't have the app for this car and the uh, set charge limit has been buggy. Whenever I say set charge limit to 100%, it goes back to 50, but it's been charging past 50. So here's hoping we're not stuck at 50%. I guess I could always fast charge it up. But the Smart is still over there. It hasn't fallen over, which is good. So we're gonna go unplug the Audi. Here it is, looking good. Let's see if it charged up to 100%. And, Audi, turning on, 100%, yeah, nice. So that is good. We also use this Tesla adapter to charge on our Tesla wall connectors here. If you have a J1772 vehicle, definitely get yourself one of those and charge always at least for now for free on tesla wall connectors let's go connect up the trailer and i know i've shown you this before but it's got these cool 3d cameras and stuff that you can use when tight maneuvering you can see because we were towing our predicted range is only 135 miles on a full charge and in reality it's closer to 80 miles or 70 miles if we do 70 to 75 miles per hour if we do 60 to 65, then we can certainly eke out even more out of this car, but probably 100 miles on one charge while towing. And also, oh, there's the seatbelt ding. Uh, let me get this lined up. Here in the settings, I've found a trailer view. Let's try that. There we go, check this out. So now we're gonna go backwards. Yeah, and I don't have trailer view anymore. Let's see if I need to re-put it back on. There we go. I guess you kind of have to do that each time. Makes sense. So I'm going to line up this little orange line with the ball. Is that all I got to do? And then just get that orange dot under there. There we go. Looks like it's right on top. Put it in park. Crank the handbrake so it doesn't move. Let's go see how accurate that is because as far as I can tell from my view, that orange dot is right underneath the receiver. Nearly perfect. That was pretty cool. What I think I'll do is I'm just gonna back it up a hair and uh, <laughs> that was a nice feature. That was pretty cool, Audi. Now we are directly over the, uh, the ball and the hitch. Let's do this, let's raise up the car because I don't even think the trailer goes this low. So we're gonna go and select, do, 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 all road. And now the car <laughs> is raising. Okay, it's coming up. I, we may not even have to lower this thing if I went all the way up, but now we're good and we're gonna drop the trailer 
right onto the Audi. Sweet! So as I was saying, we could probably flip the smart car around and make it more aerodynamic. Um, two things, I wanted the weight to be closer to the front, all the weights in the back of the smart car, so that's good, I think. I don't know, I'm not a trailering expert. Um, but it drives really nicely, however we have it set up, no sway, nothing like that, so I think then we're good. Um, and also, it was just the way that we loaded it up, so it is what it is. We're not going very far, I think the whole trip's about 100 miles. Uh, so we did 40 of it yesterday, and we'll do about 55, 60 of it today. That should be about a full charge to get us into town, and then there's plenty of CCS fast chargers around. The nice thing about living here is we have way more CCS chargers than superchargers by like 10 times. So you can get around with the Audi actually easier than you can with a Tesla, which is pretty interesting. So let's uh, hit the road into Raleigh. made it and the smart car is here the only problem now is how do we get this thing off the trailer that's going to be difficult because i don't think we're going to be able to push it down this so we need to put some boards you guys saw how we backed it on with the tow truck we didn't really think ahead as to what happens when we get here so maybe they can just work on it while it's on the trailer that's what i'm thinking yeah that might be the easiest thing to do uh, super easy trip we averaged 1.2 miles per kilowatt hour let me just make sure that's correct so, of course, the Audi, we have it set to show us our efficiency all the time. And here it goes. It says low range, and we have 47% stain of charge. 1.2 miles per kilowatt hour. You can see the battery's gone yellow with 48 miles predicted. And I'd say that's pretty accurate. So, we really didn't get much better efficiency uh, cruising at 60 to 65 than we did at 70 to 75 it was certainly a little better 20 percent better i guess that's a big difference basically if you're going to tow with evs you need to have a lot of chargers along the way i guess uh everyone's looking forward to their cyber trucks and towing everywhere i don't see how that's going to be feasible for people that are not like me who don't enjoy charging i love to charge um because that's just going to get annoying with with really cutting your range by about 75 percent that's what it does. So hopefully we get this smart car working and we'll be ready to go. Thanks so much for watching and subscribing to Out of Spec Motoring. This was just a fun little adventure to bring it down here with the e-tron. By the way, the e-tron had no thermal limitation, did not care, no problem. Uh, drivetrain uh, never put up a fuss about towing something. Even this, I'd say it's pretty heavy.